Oh yeah. So freaking beautiful. Mm-mm-mm. What up, beauty gang? Hey. <laughs> Welcome to a week in my life. Today is Sunday. What is today? The 16th? Yes, yeah, Sunday the 16th. And I figure just randomly, why not? I'm trying to do better. At, like, if it comes to mind, just do it. And this week is going to be pretty full of a lot of different things like my first team meeting i'll talk to you guys about that later um mom is actually here right now cooking some um dinner for us for the week uh it's a lot going on this week y'all but right now josh is showing mom how to use these glasses i partnered with this brand which i don't think i can tell y'all about just yet but you guys will see the content on instagram it basically they're smart glasses um and they record what i see i'm trying not to give too much away because I, I again based off being under contract and stuff i'm technically not supposed to be saying what brand it is and stuff i don't mm. think until the brand content is posted but wow. is raw so <laughs> they're over there playing with the glasses right now um when you guys see it on the gram be sure to give it a like and hashtag that's wild we saw first is why oh no that's wild hashtag that's wild <laughs> <laughs> Ma got on the glasses right now. Is that my babies? Yes, go ahead. Say hello, y'all. Hey, baby. I'm Sunday. done. <laughs> Happy Sunday to everybody. Mm -hmm. I hope and pray everybody's doing just fine. Mm-hmm. Because it's divine. Mm -hmm. It's a divine time. Mm-hmm. You got the rhymes, huh? A little something. something. <laughs> oh. I was over here cooking it up. Very excited. Let me turn on the light, yes. Mama takes care of us. Got yeah, some smoked turkey. Yeah, no. That's turnips, right? Sorry. Yes, those are turnip bottoms. Okay, okay. What you what, actually want to tell us what you're cooking today? Ooh, I'm cooking my children some delicious greens. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> so, the process is pretty long and tedious, but y'all worth it. Mm. Y'all worth it, too. Thank you, Mama. Okay, so all these vitamin stuff. So, we start off with getting the meat together. So that's why they're in the pot. Okay. Smoked turkey. Uh huh. Uh huh. And then I use a little turnip box. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And then I'm soaking the greens in a little baking soda. Okay. And after soaking, I start chopping them up here. Uh -huh. So I have collard greens and I have a little kale. Okay. Okie dokie. Mama's greens, y'all. What you want? You want to describe it, babe? It's Heaven. like your favorite. Heaven? Heaven <laughs> must be like this. It must be. If they're not serving greens in heaven, don't send me. I'm done, Josh. Stop it. <laughs> in other news, y'all, I actually have some exciting content coming y'all's way. I can actually talk to y'all a little bit real quick to update you guys real quick on. Ooh, let me set y'all down. Back this up. Zoom out. Mm. Okay. As I was saying, put on my glasses again. <laughs> no, I need my water though. But I actually have been working this morning on a to-do list for this week. I'm not gonna go on too close, but my Sundays are usually like my planning days. So got some journals out, was jotting out some things that I need to knock out this week. Um, I have also, I'll back away a little bit, but I actually have a calendar, a dry erase board calendar that's right next to my desk as well. So when something comes up, I usually have, where's my, oh, a book calendar to keep track of things, but I'll let know. I actually need to fill it in. I haven't been doing that good with this month. This month, I kind of gave myself grace easing myself into this new year, to be honest, um, because I don't know if I told you guys, but I know I've said it on my like, Instagram story or the Discord session I had. Uh, this week, actually, I had my very first 2022 Discord session. For those who don't know, that's kind of like beauty gangs, like group chats slash, it's not FaceTime, but it's like Zoom. So it's like FaceTime. Um, I had plans. I have plans to do those consistently this year. So we held our very first one this week, Thursday. It was really, really nice. We were on there for like two and a half hours. It was super dope. Um, but 
plan to try to do those bi-monthly and um, my calendars are gonna help me keep track of that um, I guess I haven't even just updated you guys in general on 2022 because my last weekly vlog I think was of 2021 I knew you I know it was like New Year's Eve um, and I think it played a little bit into 2021 but not much at all but a little bit of update um i do have a team now so i'm very excited because this week um i also thought it would be a good idea to film a weekly vlog this week because this week will be the first time i'm having a team meeting where all of us are coming together in person um i also i don't know if actually that's going to be a part of this week's weekly vlog but more so, we are about to touch on 2022 goals of mine, some plans, some things that I want to accomplish. Um, so talking through that, I'm, I'm just overall excited. This is the first time where like, I've been my own boss for the last five, six years since I started social media, but this is my first time having like employees underneath me um, or outsourcing for different things. So super excited, love the people that I have on my team thus far, um, great energy great vibes like god is definitely aligning the right people in my life so i'm so happy and grateful for that um and hopefully not hopefully i know that it will make my life easier as we start getting into the flow of things but it's so interesting like getting to that point in the first place because <laughs> i've never had to like organize or run or guide anybody else but myself so yeah it's interesting y'all but today is a pretty chill day just kind of trying to plan out how i want my week to go um so yeah y'all okay oh yeah, my gosh y'all it is all and popping up in here it's really really popping now cook it with my echo y'all it smells incredible Ooh, i don't even know if you can hear me sorry ma oh that was the light you still can y'all hear me yeah. Smells oh, those little nice incredible. ingredients, girl. And that little crisp. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, I like okay. the crisp. I do Different like colors, crisp. you know, make a better little mixture there. Better little village. The collard greens. Mm -hmm. They don't mm -hmm. mess around. Okay. Mm -hmm. They can impact the world. <laughs> the collard greens. The collard greens, baby. <laughs> Read up on collard greens. Okay. 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 Oh, that looks so incredible. I said, Mom, make sure you get mm. that smoked turkey. Mm. She understood the Baby, assignment. it is smoking too, isn't it? It is. Okay, we're going to speak in a spoke. Uh-huh. A little bit, a little bit. Accent, you know. Make okay, it so okay. One. Okay. A two. Oh. A three. Woo! You talking about smoke? Uh-huh. Baby. <laughs> and, by the way. Hmm. Okay, I'm just saying. Slap your mama. This has an original flavor all by itself. You see that? What? Just one squirt. That's it. <laughs> I didn't even see no, it. No, no, you don't play with this. That's why it's called slap for your mama. Oh. Just one time, that's all it takes. Chefing it up or oh, whatever. Oh, oh. Yeah, look, look at that richness. Yeah. That tenderness. <laughs> and it tastes just like it looks, okay? <laughs> uh, okay, look. Comment oh. below if you guys want us to do oh. Hashtag cooking with my deco. And <laughs> build up the muscles. Now I'm get ready. I'm you done. Because look at this. Look at mm, You know, just like the yam. Yeah. <laughs> no, we, we use Josh. Yep. <laughs> so we actually made a goosey wow. and pounded yam like a month or so ago, y'all. Mm -hmm. So we can do a couple little chef, yeah. chef Ooh, situations up in here. Pretty Let is. us know. This is the final product, you guys. And my cornbread muffins don't look too bad sauce. over here. And definitely got to get hot sauce with it, 100%. <laughs> so, y'all, <laughs> I set a trend in the house. The meat has been cooking and steaming this whole time. So, you know, the other greens was kind of off to the side for a little bit. So, I was like, okay, you can kind of see the steam coming off of that thing. So, they went over here and followed behind me. Get in on that. Get right in there. on that. Yeah, right there, right there, right there. Right there. You top, gotta get like some of that one. juice over top. Oh, Triple yeah, yeah, that yeah, juice. Yeah, that's, oh, that's I'm trying to see the juice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What say you, first words? What you got? It's busting. We're going crazy. <laughs> he always gets me like this easy. I know, right? I'm oh, sorry, y'all, but the reaction, man, y'all, this. You don't convince my first reaction, but. I did, I did. Look, look at this. Look how it just swings. Look at the tenderness. <laughs> Yet, the color 
It is the combination. Everything. Like I said, the only thing missing is the sweet potatoes. Oh my gosh, wow. Next time. this weekly vlog for a second after i finished working out i uh, oh wait first of all new hair who this okay i haven't even updated y'all since i put on the new wig and i actually would have showed you guys how i put on the wig but bay was using my camera during that time trying to film a youtube video for himself oh, i wasn't trying i was succeeding all right well they didn't get to see me lay my wig but because yeah. they saw me look real crusty and dusty to go work out this morning and now boom and it's dark Can't and it's nighttime mm -hmm. what'd you say <laughs> no, they saw me crusty and dusty earlier is what I'm saying. Anyway, um, yes, new wig, who this? She's actually synthetic, y'all. And I was so sad because I ordered, let me set y'all down because this camera is heavy. And, oh, by the way, warming us up some greens. Y'all already knew. Green leftovers for the rest of the week, dang near. And to chop though. But, um. What was I saying? Oh, I ordered some wigs for myself last week, and based on the reviews, it said, oh, these wigs come so fast, blah, blah, blah. So I'm thinking it's gonna take about a week. Granted, I did order about like six or seven wigs, but either way, I thought they were gonna be here in like a week and a half, and the vendors or whatever that I was communicating with told me they won't be here until probably next week, Tuesday, which sucks because I had a lot of content I'm about to be shooting this coming weekend with my team. So basically, long story short, I have this wig in my in the back of my closet and I never opened it. So came fresh out the box today and it's really cute. I'm almost, well, I'm not sad that I didn't open it previously because it happened the way it needed to happen today. I'm not gonna go too, too close because I didn't perfectly lay it, but it's cute enough where at a distance it's like, <laughs> but I actually, after y'all saw me, Worked out, went to the sauna. I didn't take y'all with me because one, I try to do that like just for myself. Like that's another piece of me time along with like working out. But also, I'm going to um, bring you guys like pamper routine, my high maintenance routine, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera, that type of stuff. I'm going to save sauna content, steam room content for that. Um, then came back up here, showered, started getting ready because I knew I wanted to film a reacting to TikToks video tonight or today. So I did that. Filmed it, edited it, got it up. So it goes up at 6.13 now. It goes up at 7. Um, what else? I posted an Instagram reel. My morning routine. Morning, what? Self-care slash hygiene morning routine. Y'all saw the YouTube video. 
a couple months ago, but I had like made it into an Instagram reel and just never posted it just out of like, I don't know if it was out of fear that it wasn't going to do well or like, I really don't have a reason, a solid reason for why I didn't post it, but it is up and the reactions is very, very good. So I'm excited about that because that's kind of gearing towards the EC Maymay 3.0 energy that I think I was talking to you guys about. I don't know if I've mentioned it in this video yet, but every once in a while I kind of and mentioning it to people what y'all are gonna expect from me this year or whatever so i'm very very excited and i actually got on my instagram story i have been in my on there for like a week and a half or so um in particular <clears throat> when my cousin passed i just was like quiet on all social media platforms for at least a week or so so today was kind of like my comeback day and i'm super proud of myself i had a hell of a productive day y'all this is the energy i be talking about and honestly i could do more but i think i'm gonna save some for tomorrow there's a couple more like behind the scenes business things i need to do and i need to get back to my project manager because i was telling her once things calm down for me we were having a conversation about some stuff but um overall let me get a little close in. Overall, today was popping. This is how I want my Mondays to always start. I feel like Mondays, now you can turn back out. Mondays always really like set the tone for your week, at least for me. That's how I feel. That, that's what my mental process is, is like. So I like to for sure make sure out of all days of the week, I'm waking up early and working out on a Monday. Um, so I did that. I did that today, y'all. Y'all have no, like, I did. And it's six and now we're eating dinner and that's like a good time i told y'all my biggest thing and my biggest downfall last year was like not having a work-life balance at all um but today i feel like was a really good w for me in terms of that i did some me time i did some spiritual stuff i, I tapped into my um actually i can show you guys let me start this really quick i want it to burn Ooh, smells just as good as last night but a couple of years ago, Josh's godmom, she is a published author and she makes books, in particular like spiritual books, daily devotionals. And I just sat in front of my computer, that's why it's so bright. I set you guys down. I stumbled across this yesterday when I was cleaning, or no, not yesterday, this weekend when I was cleaning our apartment. And it's the Everyday with Jesus Devote, blah, blah, blah. Everyday with Jesus devotional. His uh, godmom's name is Shirley Howard. And I gotta see, because I'm sure some of you guys, after I show y'all, like, what's in this book, y'all gonna be interested. But I opened it up, and um, it's cool because each page has a devotional, a prayer for you to say. Oh, let me make sure I'm not showing y'all something that I don't want to be seen. No, this is this is a good example. Yeah. Okay, so just, this is January 2nd, for example. We're going to do January 3rd. Don't want to bend back. This is January 3rd, for example. It has a devotional, a prayer, and then a little section of lines in the bottom for you to kind of like write, like, I guess how the past has made you feel, or write whatever you want. So it was crazy because when I stumbled across it this weekend, I saw that I had wrote up to, it's kind of embarrassing to say, but like January, I think, 14th. Or no, I rolled up to January 16th, but when I was reading through some of my old passages, this was from 2019. So I hadn't, I don't know where this book has been. My mom actually, when I let her know about it, she was like, yeah, I found it recently at our house, like my old house where I used to live, but her house and um, brought it to your apartment. And I just stumbled across it this weekend. So it's just funny how God works because I've been saying I want to work on like obviously my relationship with God and develop a deeper connection and stuff. And like I've been trying to figure out different ways to do that as well as um, me and Josh. The first Sunday of um, the new year we and I want to do this every Sunday but yesterday was just really I don't know kind of it wasn't chaotic but again work in progress. Either way, started watching um, sermons, like uh, it's called Transformational Church, I believe, on YouTube. We watched some sermons on there and it felt like so uplifting and empowering. So doing that more consistently, tapping into a daily devotional. And I like that it has like little um, lines at the bottom for me to like write about what that pa what that passage meant to me or whatever. So I'm going to try my best to stay consistent with it this year in 2022 because like I said last time I guess I had touched it and wrote it and it was 2019 so 
it's always crazy how things pop up like that. So um, when I got back from the sauna after my workout, I did that. Then I hopped in the shower. Then I got all beautified and glammed and stuff. And then um, filmed my YouTube video, edited it, and then got my Instagram real like It's been a very, very, very productive day. Basically, that's what I'm trying to get at. So I am so proud of myself, super happy. Um, ah, that's something else I need to do before the night is over. But me and Josh worked on our individual brands today. So tomorrow will more than likely be more geared towards Josh and EC content because we haven't posted a video in like a week or more. Ooh, a week or more thus far. But yeah, you guys, this Monday, I did that. I did that. So proud of me. Proud of me. But yeah, um, I just wanted to check in with you guys because I was like, dang, I haven't picked up my camera <laughs> and said anything since uh, leaving my leaving the gym. So yeah, Bay and I are about to enjoy the rest of our night together, eat dinner, probably watch a movie or something. Just chillax, you know. So I, I'd say that I think we made our ancestors proud today. You know, it's MLK Day, and that's like something that me and him are always talking about, like being lazy, not going hard, letting letting our foot off the gas type, so to speak. It's like a disrespect to our ancestors and all that they have done for us over these centuries, you know, for us to even be in a place right now, 26, 27 years old, living how we live, living the life that we have, the careers that we have, just like, it's, it's really crazy to think and ponder on sometimes. So I'm so forever um, grateful for the sacrifices that my ancestors made for me to be able to be here today. So I feel like today, like whenever I have days like this where it feels really productive, it feels like I'm paying, I'm, I'm paying back my debt, not my debt, but you know what I mean? Like I'm paying, uh, what am I trying to say? It's my form of showing appreciation, I guess. I'll figure out a better word for it. I can't think of it right now, but yeah, y'all. I'm about to eat. Um, also, mama last night made me some jello. You can't see it, but at the bottom it has mandarines. Dang, I'm really making this ugly just to try to show y'all this jello. But I freaking, wow. I freaking love jello. Whenever I'm at my mom's house, she always has some jello in the fridge. She make like, I was gonna say she home makes it. Well, it's like the jello packing, but she makes it, yeah. And I always be like, dang, I wish she would make me some whenever she comes and visits. And I remember to ask yesterday, she made me some, and I can't get it because I have this camera in my hand. Yeah, it's a, it's a wrap, y'all. I'll see y'all when I see y'all. So, I am up pretty early. It is probably 7.40. Yeah, we have to head out pretty soon. I'm about to pop into a like walk-in clinic because um well one my insurance card for this year hasn't come in yet but two my skin kind of got not even kind of my skin got really i don't know if it's infected or had an allergic reaction to these new skincare products that i was trying out i was super excited to share with you guys and put y'all on to because the products like they felt really good on my skin but that was the only thing i changed in my regimen and like a week ago i look up and i maybe i can like start some pictures for you guys to see Hey, baby. Uh, they went to go start the car. But um, although I feel like they're kind of starting to heal, like I have it on my neck, I have it running alongside my body and like kind of this area as well, shoulder, this area, like my, ch it, it basically messed up my whole upper body for the most part. Um, and it's crazy because I didn't realize how good and like beautiful and healthy my skin was until this started happening. But yeah, like, it's kind of drying out a little bit, and they almost look like eczema patches, but Josh was like, you need to just go to a dermatologist just to like, for sure get what, like? I like guess a more educated opinion on it. Yeah, yeah. And he's right, because I was just kind of using at-home remedies, like, uh, I don't know how many of you guys, moms be putting you on the cocoa butter sticks and shea butter and stuff. Um, so I was kind of doing that, trying to nurse it myself, but I do want to make sure these for sure leave and my skin goes back healthy. So in any way, shape or form to get that done, that's what we're off to do early this morning. I'm probably not gonna take y'all with me, but I just wanna update y'all on that. It is disappointing. I kinda don't wanna say the name of the brand because it's a black owned brand and it could have just been the fact that I have sensitive skin that didn't work. Um, but that was the only thing I literally changed in my revenue. So, I mean my revenue, my regimen, so I know pretty much for a fact that's what irritated my skin and caused this because none of my other products have changed so 
that kind of sucks, but got to get it done. So they and I are about to head out and then we'll probably hit up the grocery store too because we don't have much lunch food. We definitely got greens, smacked on those yesterday. Oh, we're also out of Jiffy. Did I get some cornbread? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. I don't know. Uh-huh. I used two packs when my mom was here that night. There was only two boxes left, yeah, that's all. So get a, a little bit of grocery shopping in. Today is more of a like behind the scenes work day and we're gonna knock out a Josh and EC video. But other than that, pretty chill. I got a decent amount off my weekly to-do list yesterday, so I'm very proud of me for that. Um, but yeah, plan to have another productive day this morning. Set the tone and knocked out my spiritual. Me and Josh, what we realized is we had a really holistic day yesterday where both of us experienced like, what, mental, physical, emotional, spiritual, all of it, right? Like all fast as well, like we did. Yeah. I'll oh, say hello, by the way, baby. My so, hands, so. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you said we had a like really holistic day. Yeah, I think I mean, that's the best way to put out, it. We got stuff done. Had a little self care time. Self -care Both went time. to the sauna. Spent some time in your devotional. Mm -hmm. So, like, I, I feel like we pretty much hit almost every target. We did. Anything. Oh, and we had like an intimate dinner. We didn't turn on the TV. Oh, yeah. We enjoyed each other's company. You're right. So, I don't know. At least for me, it kind of feels like yesterday we cracked the code where it was like putting those pieces together, like, oh, we had a great day. Why did we have a yeah, great day? why did we have a great day? And so now we kind of have a target, like if we would have a great day, we'd we hit the holistic, yeah. uh, our holistic aspects of life. But anyway, we got to head out because it's a walk-in. I don't have an appointment and I want to get in and out as soon as possible. They open at eight and I guess they're like 10 minutes away from us. So I will update you guys a little later. Just made it back home, y'all. We've been gone for a minute because it's going on noon. We left around 7.50. Long day, long, long morning. But I'm gonna go ahead and montage the groceries amongst other things that we got. Starting in three, two, one. remember the last time y'all saw me if I had a wig or not but they and I filmed a YouTube video hence why I had to get myself together a little bit and well I've been working on a lot of other business stuff behind the scenes but they just made dinner and what do you even call these bae? Sloppy Big Mac sliders. Sloppy Big Mac sliders. He found some Instagram reel and they, they genuinely taste like a Big Mac, y'all, but it's using um, what the sweet Hawaiian rolls, and then he made some ground turkey. Like, actually, he's gonna post an Instagram reel, correct? I am okay. Oh, and he bought me flowers today, but yeah, it'll be up by the time y'all see this. And if you haven't already gone to Hydra the Hero, first of all, I'm ashamed to plug my go ahead, stuff. go ahead, and plug your stuff, baby. Go I'm ahead, right, yeah. Look, I got two videos going up this week, I might have another one, so if by this time, if you see three videos this week, just know I'm working. Working, working. Okay. Then I got my music. Okay. The EP you dropped. If you don't know about the EP, right? Tell, tell somebody them. about the EP. Tell them. Uh huh. Uh huh. All vibes. All mm -hmm. that you hear in the background of her little stuff. Exactly. That you want? You know, on your little. That's my man. Know, that's me. That's my man. Okay, go to the link. You know, go to my Instagram or you can go to my uh, Hydra Hero page. I got links all up in the <laughs> You know. sound like those people that really do me. Yeah, but you're my whole future husband, so it's okay. But I'm all this, some so. people really I feel be like doing a this. Rapper. Check out, play my rapper. <laughs> play my rapper. <laughs> uh, uh, but yeah, I got all that good stuff going. And I have something actually really cool what? to tell you about, which is so funny. What? You want to tell all, me on camera? All I'm going to say to you guys is make sure you tag the brands. Mmm. Post these photos. Okay. It sounds like baby got some tea for me. So we're going to go ahead and enjoy the rest of our night. I'm about to slam a couple more of these little sliders up over here. These Big Mac sliders. Oh my gosh. And yeah, I guess I will check in with you guys tomorrow. Oh, I can show y'all the city. It looks pretty and look, it's clear tonight. Let's see. Yeah. Oh yeah. So freaking beautiful. Mm, mm, mm. Alright. Good night. Mm, exposing myself. I 
worked out this morning. It was really not even a full intense workout. I only had about 15, 20 minutes because I had my wax appointment today um, or this morning. And you're not supposed to like work out 24 hours after getting waxed. So I knew I wasn't going to be able to do it tomorrow. Tomorrow's Friday. And then, you know, it's the weekend. And trying to make sure I hit my goal of working out three to four times a week. So today made day three for me. So I'm solid whether I work out again or not this week. But yeah, Josh and I have a video that we need to film. My mom is coming today because we... Can I tell you guys this? I'm trying to think. Mm, no, I cannot tell y'all this yet. But yeah, so she's coming over today so we can do some stuff. My project manager slash cousin is also coming this way as well today. Um, to, one, surprise my mom because they haven't seen each other in a while since, honestly, COVID. And then also um, I invited her over for dinner and so that we and her can like catch up on some business things and touch bases because we had two business calls yesterday one with my manager discussing 2022 goals um and then one with another project manager kind of giving us some insight in terms of like i'm building a team this year for myself that's a really weird angle to be talking to you guys but i'm building a team for myself this year and i don't know if i've actually gone in depth with you guys about that process thus far but i have found two incredible um women to be on my team my mom is technically a part of my team as well because she is my personal assistant me and josh's personal assistant um, like I said, I have, a pro I have a manager, a project manager, also a video editor. So Sunday is actually going to be our first team meeting. And then Josh is actually my creative director. So I'm, you know, I'm going. Things are happening. Things are necessary things, honestly, y'all. Because when I was thinking back on like my last year, 2021, and looking at like comparing it to my previous years, Putting on this wig everybody freaking loves myself included but um i'm just saying looking back on my last year i was looking at like how many videos i was posting how many instagram posts i had last year was my most inconsistent year since i started social media um but understandably so because i was juggling so much all by myself so um moving into this year well the end of last year i realized like okay i definitely have to start outsourcing definitely need to start um delegating roles for other people to do so that i can buy back my time essentially um even speaking from like a personal life level i did not there was no work-life balance at all it was just work 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 and um i basically ran myself into the ground um and then i started to i need to rinse off the lace of this wash it but um i started looking into how other women that i really admire how they're handling their social media brands um started being a little nosy and discovered like oh people have a team um so that was kind of like I guess the missing link for me that I felt like all right I felt like it's crazy because before last year I felt like oh all I need is a manager to start like excelling and flourishing in my career and stuff and then I got management and it definitely helped me like with the rebranding flourishing elevating and stuff but then I ended up at the end of last year during fourth quarter and like 10 brand deals all do within like a month and a half and it was just me so when I got to that part it's like oh okay I definitely wanted to um start working with more brands making more money and stuff through management but then like management like gets you the brand deals negotiates and and stuff but like it has nothing to do with the production side of things and brands are getting more and more specific about how they want the content to be done um that you're shooting for them so oftentimes uh, when it comes to brand deals i have to send out it's like a homework assignment like you have a concept that you have to tell the brand there's some brands that i've worked with that even ask like what are you planning on wearing during the content that you're shooting um it, it's it's a lot basically that goes into all of this but i'm saying all that to say um, quickly realized last year after getting management like oh, okay I still can't do all of this by myself so I feel like I'm in a, such a better headspace um, already and the year has just started with me solidifying that as a team and then even when it comes to editing YouTube videos I think I mentioned yeah I have a video editor um, now and sometimes editing videos can take four or five hours like it, it's just it's crazy it's crazy um, 
So again, getting a video editor is also another form. I'm just using alcohol on this lace. Usually I wash it with um, shampoo, but I don't really have time for that right now. Um, but like that is another form of buying back my time. If I now have a video editor, that's five hours that I could be using for my personal life or five hours I could be using to work on other business ideas or whatever content that I want to get for you guys. Like, you know, so just learning slowly but surely, surely how to work smarter, not harder, as well as becoming a real boss and businesswoman. Because since I started social media, I've been my own boss, but now I've actually hired people. Um, so it, it's interesting trying to like like step more into that light of like delegating and telling people what I need, what my expectations are and stuff. But something that I was super, super adamant about as I was building out this team was um, one, going for black women and then two, women of color. I just want a team full of women. I mean, Josh, I said this is my creative director. He's my fiance and he's genuinely good at what he does. But other than him, I want all women around me. I really respect how um, Beyonce has gone about building her team and the, the women around her. Like she has a full woman based team brand um, not brand a uh, band like her band all of that like our women and I really really respect that and I uh I think I've touched on it a decent amount with you guys but like women especially black women in particular are like one of my number one driving motivators and inspiration in this world hence why my uh I have that corner dedicated to beautiful black women if you guys haven't seen my room transformation video, by the way, definitely check that out. But for those who did not see it, this is the wall I'm referring to. Beautiful, powerful, empowering black women killing their lanes. So saying all that to say, that is why I was so adamant about the type of team that I wanted to build around me. Um, even with my manager, when I was looking for management, I definitely wanted like a black woman who just understood um, my position in life uh, and, and in this industry as a black woman influencer. So uh, I'm very, very excited about who I have around me because also like a key thing too that's so real um, as that I like heard in conversation while I was in the process of trying to develop this team is you can't pay people to care about you. And I know 110% that every single person on my team right now cares about me, about my brand, um, beyond like me paying them, if that makes sense. You can't, again, pay people to care. You can pay people to do a job, but for somebody to actually care and like want to help you in any way, shape or form, that's not necessarily something that you can pay for because a lot of those people go above and beyond to make sure you're good. And um, I'm very, very blessed um, with the fact that I have found people that are like that. So um, this year is going to be super dope. I'm very excited for all the things that me and my team have discussed thus far. Like I said, though, our first official like in-person team meeting is going to be um, this weekend. So I'm going to be finally meeting my like video editor in person. But she also does more than just video. Ooh. Excuse me. Editing. She also... Um, does photography, videography, and stuff. So she's kind of going to be used for different things um, on this team, various things, because she has so many different skill sets. So God is working, y'all. He definitely working. <laughs> I appreciate it so much. So yeah, uh, like I said, though, mom, oh, mom, personal assistant. So even with that, like me and Josh can go all day without eating sometimes, like until dinner time. So like wake up, work out, do work, and then we look up and it's 7 p.m. and we haven't ate anything. My mom comes in clutch with that because she's going to start helping us meal prep, cooking um, meals for us. Also, like, when it comes to, like, laundry and just, like, kind of like busy work, right? It's the busy work. Like, laundry, that stuff isn't difficult to do. Cooking is not difficult to do, but it takes up time, and I could be using that time for something else. So, um, outsourcing has been the key word for me and I have been feeling so much better I feel like I'm taking back control of my life and like it's just a beautiful thing y'all 
very beautiful thing but yeah anyway i am about to put on my wig i actually have been using this new style like i bit i used to use got to be glued free sprays i'm sure a lot of you guys use or have seen before but now I done switched it up, y'all, and I don't think I'm going back. I'm now starting to be obsessed with this ORS Olive Oil Super Hold Wig Grip Spray, and it's so easy to use. It's ridiculous. With the Got To Be fr uh, Free Spray, I oftentimes would have to like blow dry to secure it and stuff like that. Like, it's so simple, you guys. I'm gonna just let you guys watch. Well. I guess I could actually. It's not a like tutorial tutorial, but you know, I guess I can show y'all whatever. This wig, <laughs> I posted the link to it um, on my Instagram story yesterday and y'all went nuts. It definitely sold out quickly. <laughs> now, pull it back slightly and spray right along the hairline. about to see just how simple this is so crazy it says it let it get tacky for like 30 seconds and it really does i feel like this also because it said it's um where is it lays and grips lace frontals for flawless wig and weave application i don't know why but it just it really melts your lace like even better than the got to be in my opinion now i pull it forward now it's getting a little tacky adjust it how I want see the top is already already staying in place which is what I want and then it got to my what is this called it's like a wig uh, is it a gripper wig why am I spacing right now it's basically a wig band it has velcro I actually should have taken you guys I went to that um, like factory beauty supply store again not too long ago and picked this up from there I'm gonna have to take y'all for sure this year because I asked y'all did y'all want me to last year and you guys said yes but they have so much dope things here but yes this is all I have to do and then I go ahead and do my makeup and by the time not even by the time honestly I could leave this on for two minutes and then it'll be set like everything will be laying flat but I just go ahead and knock out my um, makeup, well at least my brows. Yesterday when I did this method, I did my brows and then I took it off, laid my baby hairs, put it back on, and then put on my like lashes and whatnot. And it's super simple. So I guess I'll show you guys the end results. But this stuff right here, if you have not tried it and you are a wig person, try it and you won't regret it i promise you i feel like it's so, so much faster way more effective more healthy for my hairline just my hair in general because that got to be whenever i was using um a blow dryer for it it used to like burn my ear and it's just extra and this is like bare minimal effort and i feel like it lays it way better so yeah y'all anyway i'll see you guys i guess i'll check in with you guys after i'm done getting um, I'm not getting glammed, but you know, a little bit more put together. Commercial break, guys. Definitely want to make sure. Got lunch in. It's 11.27, and we're going to probably start filming around noon. And I already know that momentum by now. I think Bay and I are both well aware. If we don't eat between a certain time frame, we're not going to eat till dinner. So, Bay made me a sandwich. Thank you. And made himself, what, a PBJ and apples. And I stopped at the store on the way back from uh, my wax appointment today, y'all. Look at this. Cool Ranch and Flamin' Hot. I really want to try this because I, I love Flamin' Hots. And I'm not against Cool Ranch. Some people be like, now nah, I make a breast thing. I'll brush my teeth. But I'm excited to try it. So, matter of fact, I'll give y'all an honest review right now. I really feel like I got some nacho cheese recently. I really feel like I want to dip it in that, but let's see. Mm. Oh, I will kick through. It's good. You want to try? Yeah. Let's see what we got, see how you, what you think. I'm done. Cool it off. Stop. Stop.
It's like the heat comes. Right. Like a slow a crescendo. crescendo. Mm-hmm. But you can definitely taste the cool ramp still. That's pretty good. But they're good. Yeah, by far. Mm. Try them out, y'all. Thank me later. I told you guys I would show you my final results after I got a little cute, little glammed or whatever. Honestly, all I did was my brows, um, put on some lashes and some lip gloss. Oh, my little fake moles or whatever. But the wig laid so nicely. I did not do anything extra. Literally, that little wig headband that I showed y'all, that's it. And like, it's firm on the scalp. I won't say it's perfectly melted. I'm giving you guys a super, super close um, close up. Super close, close up. And I did not retint my lace with the foundation like I usually would. I just used some, um, what is it, bronzer powder, actually. So from a distance, my hair looks, look at Bay back there. Bro, you look dead. <laughs> from a distance, my hair looks popping, in my opinion. And then up close, you get super close. It still looks good, but I just wanted to show you guys how flat it gets in. All I have to do is spray, apply the wig, put a little wig headband on. It probably would stick on its own, but like I feel like the wig headband really like lays it firm and I don't have to worry about like these little sides lifting that like no matter how much got to be free spray I use on these sides, they would always lift up. So that's also probably why I'm so in love with the new ORS um, wig spray. But yeah, just want to show you guys that. I will check in with you guys later. Oh, it's my mommy. <laughs> shoot coming up this week um, this coming week and I ordered a whole bunch of wigs for it and I figured y'all might be interested in seeing the wigs that I got so I was in the middle of unboxing and I'm like let me go ahead and turn on the camera real quick I'm not gonna show y'all oh, let me stabilize I'm not gonna show you guys me like putting them on but I thought I'd at least show you what I picked up so one of them oh wow this uh actually maybe i'll show y'all and then put them like show y'all what they look like on because i just that's the main thing i just want to see what they look like on me so this my tresses it's kind of like a premium they're all synthetic wigs by the way from sam's beauty but there's this one. Oh, i was like what is which one is this one this is what it looks like so that's one and i also got this one, um, man, that's a bit loud, just a tad. This is the caramel chocolate color. This is what it looks like. I got the same wig in a different color. I got it in Havana Brown, cause it's like, that. I'm actually excited to see what that one looks like on me, cause there was a wig on their website, um, that I wanted to get in the same color and it was out of stock. So when I saw that this same wig um, had that same color, I was like, let me try, see what it looked like on the melanin. So that one, um, same wig as the other. Then this one, 
Oh, I got this in the red velvet. So this is the other wig. And I got it in a really pretty burgundy-ish red color. So I'm excited to see what that one looks like on me. And then this last one is just a basic, um, what color? I got it in 1B, like a black, dark black, dark brown, blackish uh, wig. So I'm excited to see what these look like on me. I thought that I bought more than this. No, it was the other one. Yeah, I've been buying a lot of wigs lately, y'all. It's getting out of hand. But anyway, it's cool. I'm going to try these on, and I guess I'll show y'all a little glimpse of how they turn out. So yeah. Here we go. Off rip. So this is this wig. As you can see, I'm going to have to customize this bad boy. But the hair is super pretty and super soft bouncy and stuff back there. I don't want to disrupt the pattern too much. But the hairline, bruh. Now, I am someone who does have low edges, I must admit. Um, But this hairline is just like, I feel like it's inaccurate for anybody. I don't know, might be speaking too soon, but I'm going to have to pull that hairline back a decent amount in order for this wig to work at all. But again, hair texture is really nice, very bouncy, very pretty. It's very pretty. It's just the hairline is trash, honey. Yeah, I'm going to have to play with that a little bit. So this is the next wig I decided to try on. This one. Eh. This actually I'm very pleased with thus far and as you guys can tell if you're going to compare the previous wig I just showed you to this hairline this is what I was kind of expecting for all of them like it's crazy how much I just had to um, kind of play with that but it wasn't too hard to pluck it's just like dang thick ass hairline anyway this is super pretty I'm not gonna like play with it and manipulate it too much because um, I want the curls to remain tight like this and when I'm actually gonna do the photo shoot I'll more than likely brush it out so it can look a little bit fuller a little bit more real and natural but this is cute honey especially this color yeah yeah, this is fine. Wig number three. I actually need to step in some natural light so y'all can really see. I was super excited about this color and I feel like the camera still isn't doing it justice. This hair looks so good on me. I ain't even gonna lie, y'all. Here it is in the mirror. I don't know why I flipped that out, actually. Can y'all see that? Okay. Yeah, that's super pretty. I'm excited. I'm gonna um go ahead and pull back the hairline a little bit but I do like how the hairline looks pretty much overall but yeah I gotta push back at least this ooh, dark this area a little bit because of my low edges but this color honey this color is fire oh yes oh yes it's definitely giving me a rich auntie vibes and energy wig number four is pretty solid you guys it is ugh, pick it up real quick <laughs> this one so i will have to really okay i would obviously have to like um not customize what's it called style it you know getting it so i can have it like flat like it looks in the picture but first time applying it straight out the box this is actually really pretty hair it's a really pretty texture very full and thick I actually really like it something very simple black and sleek I like this it's long though <laughs> but yeah this is one let me push back the hair a little bit the hairline looks pretty nice. More than likely be pushing it back as I've had to do for the rest of them, but it hasn't been complicated or complex to do at all. It plucks, all the, these wigs pluck really easily. So yeah, but this is cute. This is my simple little black wig, okay. Fifth and final wig, it's actually, how do I keep <laughs> forgetting it? This is the chocolate blonde version. Actually, I believe it's this on sis right here and it is actually really beautiful on the melanin let me step into the light hopefully it adjusts nicely for y'all y'all see that color in the body so pretty i love it it's super soft it's actually not as blonde as i thought because I was a little, little, little tad bit concerned. But this is cute. Yeah. Both wigs, both colors. 
fire. I am going to go ahead and customize the hairline as I did these wigs. So these are all the wigs. I went ahead and like fixed the hairlines like I was telling y'all and tinted the lace with some foundation. So I got that, ooh, look kind of ratchet over here. Got that going on right here. There's the other one. This is the last one. It is so cute. I love. Okay, not too shabby. I feel like they're all W's. It's a good day in the wig world, okay? Hey, update y'all. I actually should show y'all selfie mode. I, this is the first wig that I showed you guys. I was playing with it. This is the first time I've ever done a half up, half down like wig look. So don't judge me too harshly if you don't feel like it looks popping. Um, but yeah, this is the one that I had to like kind of heavily customize and the hairline is still kind of thick in my opinion, but it's kind of cute. I think that the hair is a little bit, um, not flat, but it's not as dense as I usually like my hair. Y'all know I like big, thick, full hair, and I feel like this is just real, real flat. So, although it's cute, I'm like, hmm, is there different ways I can wear it? I feel like even putting like a little headband on the front and letting the rest hang down in the back could be cute, but I tried a little side bang, half up, half down style. Y'all let me know what you think. It's okay. It's okay. Anyway, I got a YouTube video, a sponsored video that I need to film. And I think Bay and I are going to go to his bestie's new apartment a little bit later. His best friend actually just moved to Chicago um, yesterday. So, yeah. I probably won't take y'all with me with that because, you know, I don't want to invade his privacy, his new home, his new space. But, yeah, y'all. Pretty um, pretty decent day. I actually didn't show you guys, but our, our home, I'm not even gonna lie, our home was a mess, like bad. And like, even here, this is a good little example. This wasn't just out, I, it's a whole bunch of dirty clothes. Like we've been washing all day. It was a mess, like really bad, especially this washroom. So I'm excited because the content I need to film actually needs to be in this washroom, so. It all worked out for the best and our house actually smells clean. Like you ever be, you ever be. Like, do you notice when you're in a dirty environment, the air doesn't smell as pure as it, or as clean? Like it's just stuffy. Or at least, I don't know, I more so notice it when I am in a clean environment. Like we thoroughly deep clean, swept, swiffered, like all of that. And I feel like the air just smells, feels pure going through my nostrils. Hopefully that makes sense. Let me know if y'all relate. Anyway, see y'all. My mom came over a little early to give me a little massage and today is actually my very first team meeting officially. Meet two of my team members right here. You might not know this man right here, but his name is Joshua and over here is Isabel. I'm not as important. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but, um, we're, and we're going to go get my potential video editor now. So you okay, very forward, we're going to 48 now. Are you gonna go get her? I'm securing the room. Oh. I don't have my key. Oh, sick of Okay. We all gotta go together. So, had a very successful first team meeting, wouldn't you say, Bay? I would say so. Yeah. So, um, we're actually now en route to Bay's championship basketball game. He's been a part of this basketball league since when? You about to sneeze? Uh, I was. Anyway. <laughs> I can uh, tell. 
But uh, we've been a part of this since November. Okay. We're the number two seed. Okay. So we're, we're, we're about to try and make w. some shake. Uh-huh. Try to make some shake. So me and Mama are here for support. Say hi, Mama. <laughs> so I'm excited. I've only been to your very first game. Mm -hmm. And now this is his very last. Because it's not like... Well, I don't know how to explain it. It's really just a league. Like, I don't yeah. know how to explain it, but I'm very excited. My cousins are on the same league as Josh, too. Like, they're all on this together. So, we'll be seeing them, hopefully. Oh, my God! Speaking of! Griffin! Griff! Hey! <laughs> Note to self. Never wear these out in the snow. <laughs> we're up. We're up. transparency guys we made it home and I was over the wig but this young man right here don't be, don't be doing all that Ball look at you bag. look at you Ball head bag. whatever good job man good job today I'm, a ball head bag. I'm proud of you thank you mm -hmm. I tried my best to get Gave them boquitos yeah yeah I needed that game winner and, oh my gosh yeah the game got intense at the end y'all I didn't even get any clips from it because I was standing up and like being that you know that person I am that person when it comes to athletics what did you think of the game mother hey it was prayer up uh huh that's what I said and wipe the soul yeah wipe the soul would not stop y'all you know not <laughs> stop uh huh but it was very intense yeah our men did their thing they did they I did can't wait till next year yeah it's gonna you be know? lit and hello oh Mommy, they saw you in the no, car. No, I didn't say what I had to say. No. Oh, well, okay. okay. Excuse okay. me. Okay. This is Sunday evening. Yeah. Hopefully you all had a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Mm -hmm. And have a good, productive, strong week. Love it. Love you. Love it. And on that note, y'all, we're out of here. Woo, baby. Yeah. So long. Farewell to, to you, you, my friend. friend. So long. Farewell. <laughs> My friends. How do we finish it? I feel like this is our outro when it's us three. How do we finish it? Friends. <laughs> the happy day of us happened. That's not it though. <laughs>